here's the full story of the most dramatic relationship in Quincy history, Shani and Xavier. Shani knew she liked Xavier before they even met. In fact, everyone knew. Guys, meet my brother. Weak knees, weak knees. <laughs> and Best for Shani. Last. Hi, Shani. <laughs> when he didn't make a move, Shani took matters into her own hands. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you. Do you kind of want to like go on a go out or like on a date or like hang out? As... Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? Yes, but I mean, you're taking forever, so. <laughs> yeah, I love to. Really? Yeah. We'll make a toast. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> For a really fun day today. <laughs> Okay, uh... And for spending time with you. Yay! I'm a good time. I want to thank you for today. It was for... After a very romantic first date, Xavier surprised everyone by taking someone else to the homecoming dance. Me and Alyssa are, like, pretty good friends. And so when I found out she didn't have a date, I was like... Kind of surprised. Hey, Xavier. Hey. Are you here to pick? I am. He's here to pick you up. Well, actually. Actually. So I kind of heard you didn't have a date. So I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Of course. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That's so cute. Alyssa and Xavier, homecoming. We just went like kind of as friends because. As she, friends. Yes, as, as friends. friends. Yes. Yeah. friends. Yeah. Shani invites Xavier and a friend to a movie premiere, but the night takes an unexpected turn. It looks like Xavier has a new girlfriend. Now that Xavier is officially dating Raquel, Shani needs to distract herself on a beach trip with her friends. What time are the girls coming? Tori just texted me and she said she should be here any second now, actually. Okay, cool. But, um, I actually also invited Xavier. And he's probably being with Raquel. I'm not sure. But are you okay with that? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. All right, good. Oh, Bye. Yeah! Xavier, I don't know, dude. They seem pretty serious, him and Raquel, and you know, they look happy, and I just don't know what to do anymore. It seems like Shani would never get over Xavier until. Well, hey, um, this is Shani. That's John. Hey, nice to meet you. Look, he said, so how about that date tomorrow? I'm trying to get in contact with you, it took, it took some time. Yeah, it's, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. There's this other. This other guy that I really, really liked, but um, I don't know, something happened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely, you're like amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Xavier is with Raquel, Shani is with John, so everyone can move on, right? Wrong. He's the guy with Shani. Um, that's John, your replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, are they like dating or talking? Are they friends or what? Um, why do you care? You got a girlfriend. Your heart is like pure and I just love it. You're beautiful, you're spontaneous, you always know what to say and always know what to do. And it's been so great with you. Raquel calls Xavier out and Xavier doesn't handle it well. Hey look, there's the girls and your sister. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Super. What's been happening with you? What do you mean, what's been happening? You've been, been like happening? really off, like extremely off. Like, how have I, I been? How? What am I doing? You've just been off. Like you haven't really been talking to your family or Iram. Just like, I'm just trying to figure stuff out, you know? I just want to take a step back and just get an overall like picture and like, Get my mind right. I want to 
us to figure it out together. I understand that, but sometimes I just like to do things on my own. It turns out Shani and John are having relationship problems of their own. So what are you thinking of doing? Have you looked at any colleges? But I want to just focus on you and worry about you. Yeah, but John, you know, like, you're in my future and I want to be with you, like, in my future, so... <laughs> Shani, like... I don't know what I'm gonna do, you know? I don't. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, both relationships are on the rocks just in time for a group trip to San Diego. <laughs> what could go wrong? Or what could go right? So, you're a guy, like, is he coming or what's up? Where's he at? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's uh, coming like after the Mexico trip. Yeah, what about Raquel? I don't think so. Do you guys remember the, the movie premiere? Hey, Dom didn't specify what I should bring or who I should bring. Oh, God. I would have loved to be at a date, though. Like, that would have been fun. It's just, too late, isn't it? Just thought I should put that out there. Could Xavier have a fighting chance after all? The only thing that could ruin this is Shani's boyfriend. Hey, uh, hey Shani. Uh, I'll give you guys a minute. Yeah, all right. What? Nothing. John, seriously, what? Are you really over him? Hello? Uh, hello? Is this Raquel? Yes. Oh, uh... Hey, uh, this is John. Oh, yeah. You're Shani's boyfriend, right? Well, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, that's kind of why I'm calling you. Shani is finally ready to tell Xavier everything she's been meaning to say since the day they met. You made me cry, bro. A lot. You made me feel bad about myself. And the fact that you didn't tell me anything made me feel even worse. Maybe it's like too late to apologize or fix things, but I mean, if I could, I would. During a photo shoot in Hollywood, Shani and Xavier get a little too close for Raquel. I don't think I'm okay with you and Xavier spending so much time together. Like, I see the way you guys look at each other, and it's more than just being friends. Fine. Okay. Well, yeah. I like Xavier. I always have. But I respect your relationship, and I'm not going to come and mess that up. But I'm also not going to be fake and tell you that if there was an opportunity, I wouldn't take it. Shani gets tickets to a film premiere and decides she's going to invite either John or Xavier. Yeah, I still have feelings for Xavier. And I don't know, maybe I should give John a second chance. Finally seems like Shani and a newly single Xavier are clear for takeoff. And what better place to get your flirt on than a group trip to Miami? Ooh, we're getting ready. Good morning. Morning. Um. I'll go get your plate. 
Thanks, Chief. You're glowing. <laughs> and I know it's not the highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Let me go warm up that plate for you. Let me go warm up that plate for you. Oh, I'm like, nice. I need mine warmed up too. Can I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, can I do all this? I'm like, uh, it's going on. Shani and Xavier are finally single at the same time. Could this be it? The moment we've all been waiting for? How's Raquel? She's good. Uh, like, we're not really um, together right now, per se, yeah. So, I mean, it sucks, like it hurts, but. How does she feel about you being here? She's not happy about it that much, but. She, she understands, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. like one day it's really good, and the next day it could be, like, really bad. I got to know Xavier a lot more in this trip, and um, I realized that he's just no good for me, bro. I've always wanted to be the one that was um, his first, you know? Yeah. I'm never going to be his first choice, and that's the sad truth. At least Shani finally realizes, as long as Raquel is in Xavier's life, she doesn't have a chance. But a road trip with the girls reveals some new information. Did you guys see Xavier's post? Yeah. It's actually really sad. I really, I, but I'm just confused because I don't know if they're like dating. Wait, who? Xavier and Raquel. Uh... That kind of sounds like a breakup post. Right? I don't know if you guys know, do you guys know he's going to the military? He's going to the Marines? What? He's going to go to the Marines? Yeah. I don't even know that. <gasps> Yeah, he's going oh to the Marine, God. so that's why he's so like he's been like so MIA with like everyone. Honestly, wow. you know what? Whatever makes him happy. So it's time to close the shavier chapter and for everyone to move on, or so it seemed until it happened. Xavier finally realized how he felt for Shani's friend Alyssa. Hi, how are you? No, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. Yeah, I, I was trying to tell you like because I just got back from like North Carolina, I'm back in Cali. I want to say uh, happy birthday. Thank you. I guess the evidence was there all along. Who are you rooting for? Shani, Raquel, or Alyssa? Let us know in the comments below.